What is up everybody? This is a Lego plow truck and in this video I'm going to show you guys how I built it and more importantly how you can too. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is based off of a typical truck, especially one you'd find up here in the northeast. The plow on the front is a straight blade, so it's very effective in, you know, just pushing snow to one side. And it's also cheaper than a V-cut, which is basically a plow that can bend in the middle. This plow is pretty simple. It's just a 2x8 plate with some slopes on it. You can also add a V-cut blade. I actually showcased that very briefly in a very old video of mine about my fourth generation Dodge Ram. And so this particular plow, just like a real one, can be both raised and lowered and also can actually be angled from side to side we also have two lights up here for added visibility now moving back i'll showcase the other winter related item on this truck it's pretty obvious back here it is just this big gray hopper and this would be used to contain either sand or salt any material used to improve traction on the road or simply melt snow on the back of it here we've got this little chute that goes down to a spreader so on a real truck you'd have a rotating drum at the bottom which would fling salt or sand to all sides so it covers all sides of the road now you might be wondering what if it's not winter say you want to remove all of these items used to clear snow out well you can really easily do that because this hopper is only attached by yeah two studs as you can see the flat bed is you know it's pretty simple as well it's got a nice wooden deck here emulated by these tan tiles and it's also got a back rack up here just made with a lot of bar and hinge plates moving back here we've also got some nice mud flaps very crucial item here you don't want rocks flinging onto other vehicles and it even has an exhaust tucked under there, which was a little hard to fit in there, but once again, a nice little realistic detail. With the plow removed, it's easier to see what the front fascia of the truck looks like. And if you can't already tell, which it might be actually a little bit hard to tell, this is based off of a 1999 to 2007 body style F350. I know they did have a facelift around, I think, 2004. So, you know, it could be a 6.0, a 7.3, or heck, even a V10 Triton for all I know. It's really up to your imagination. In this truck, I included a little black one by one tile on the side that kind of is supposed to represent the Power Stroke badge that the uh, trucks equipped with the diesels had. And so, if you're actually a long time viewer of the channel, you might recall this truck, which I built almost two years ago. This was my original 6.0 Power Stroke design. And yeah, you might be noticing that the front of this truck is actually almost more detailed in a way. It's got the actual bar details. In reality, this truck right here, the new one, is actually more detailed in many ways. It's got a ton more texture in the front. And even though it doesn't have the bar details, the actual silhouette of the grille and physical proportions of everything is just a lot better. It's less flat and everything just flows better than the old one. So that is why I personally like this new one better. It took me actually a while to come up with this design i tried to add the bars as much as i could but it really just didn't look good unfortunately so had to go without them going over a few more interesting techniques like i usually do we've got one technique i haven't used before which is in these mirrors i've actually used binocular pieces to form them and i think this makes them look very realistic it's kind of got those two bars that the actual ford mirrors have also another classic ford detail is these door handles these kind of vertical squarish looking door handles are made with simply inverted headlight pieces with a little clip stuck into them it's a very simple way to add the classic ford door handles another little unique detail on this vehicle is the fuel filler on the side in front of the rear wheel you can see it under the flatbed and it looks quite good so i'm quite proud of that design yeah overall that's really all i have for you guys today and to stay true to my word in the beginning of this video i told you guys i would show you guys how to build this truck and yeah so this this video is actually going to be a full build tutorial so i'll show you guys first how to build the chassis then the flatbed then the snowplow and then just you know, you guys can put them all together. And yeah, so that's really all I have for you today. I've got a car coming up soon. Stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, actually another truck and some more small builds. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and let's get on to the tutorial.
Thank you.